Hi, how are you? Matt Watson here from Carwo. So I've got an amazing drag race for you today because I'm sat in the brand new, super rare, super amazing Lamborghini Aventador Ultimate, the last of the Aventador line. And next to me is an Aventador SVJ. And next to that is an Aventador SV. And next to that is an Aventador S. And next to that is a normal Aventador. Yes, I've got all the Aventadors here and we are going to race them over the standing quarter mile to see how they perform. Oh my God, this has been hard to arrange but we nailed it and this is going to be incredible so i've got a couple of guest drivers with me the first is the owner of that svj it's mark mccann hey mark how are you hi matt you okay yeah i'm okay how's your car considering you utterly abuse it on your channel doing things like drifting off road in it and crazy stuff like that unfortunately it's come a bit dirty today because we were doing silly things with helicopters at the weekend yeah um i'm surprised that car's still in one piece anyway in the sv we have someone who used to own an sv but then he raffled it off as part of his competition business it is of course mr shara lambus hi yanni how are you hello matt i'm really well and i'll be honest fair play to you guys for putting this race together and getting every single event store here wow <laughs> It's crazy, isn't it? So we've got you in the SV. You used to have one of those, and you also used to have an S, and didn't you have a normal Aventador as well? Yes, I had all the cars on the far right. I just didn't have an SVJ or an Ultima. But I do have the new replacement coming, so I'm excited for that. And we'll be sure to race that when you get it on this channel. So yeah, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss that race. As soon as Yanni has that, I'm gonna convince him to come down and race his car against some stuff. I'm gonna do the stats. It's quite easy, this. All of these Aventadors are powered by a 6.5 litre naturally aspirated V12. It's mounted in midship, and it drives all four wheels via a seven speed single clutch robotized manual gearbox with launch control in the normal aventador it puts out 700 horsepower in the aventador s it has 740 horsepower in the sv 750 horsepower and in the svj 770 horsepower and in this ultima the engine produces 780 horsepower the most powerful of all the aventadors in terms of torque the normal aventador the s and the sv have 690 newton meters but the svj and this Ultima have 720 newton meters. All the cars weigh over 1.5 tons. Exact details vary slightly. And price wise, so the original Aventador was about 242,000 pounds. The S, 271,000 pounds. The SV was 323,000 pounds. The SVJ, 350,000 pounds. And this Ultima was actually slightly cheaper, 345,000 pounds. However, you had to be invited by Lamborghini to buy one. They're all sold out. In fact, there was only 350 ever made, though only 343 actually still exist because seven of them were actually on a container ship which sunk in the ocean. As a result, these cars are very desirable. And if you would like to buy this very Ultima, the owner is selling it. So I've created a email address if you're interested in buying it. Buy an Ultima at Carwow. Yeah, it's on the screen, the email address. Okay, you can just email that. Don't mess around if you're not serious. Anyway, before we race, if you're thinking about buying a new car, something a bit more normal, then you're probably gonna to need to sell your current car and you can do that through Carwell. All you have to do is upload some photos of it, give a brief description, and then add the little bit on your car to make sure you get a great price for it. Then I'll come to you guys, take it away and, um, yeah, put the money in your account. It's dead simple. If you click on the pop-out banner up there or follow the link in the description below, you can do that right now. Alternatively, if you want to do it at a later date, you just simply Google Wow Me Car Wow and we will wow you. And I will wow you with this drag race. Buy, sell, car, wow. Now, before we race, we're going to do the obligatory car wow sound check. So, we're going to rev up the engines. We're going to start with the original Aventador. So, Aventador, can you rev up your V12, please? <laughs> can we have a listen to the Aventador S? <laughs> they sound different. Let's have a listen to the SV. <laughs> And now the SVJ. Oh, that sounds the best so far. Now for the Ultima. I'm going to rev this up. Oh, it's so good. A few moments later. It won't give me launch mode. Okay, so I don't imagine this is going to let me really thrash it because it's only done one, one, two miles. This might prevent, it might not deliver full power. I don't know. <laughs> it did so well getting it here. Oh God. It's really annoying because I don't feel like doing this now because it's not got the miles on it. Matt, one of the main guys at Lamborghini just said to me, that car logs absolutely everything. He goes, it may still do it, he's not sure. But if something goes wrong, that car will have a logged register that it's been put into launch. Because I want to run that race and I don't know when we're going to get another one in again. I wish we'd have thought about this. Damn. 
you know, it's, it's not running. I don't want to rev this engine out. I can't do it. You know, I don't want to damage this car. It's one of the 350. It's not the right thing to do. I can't launch this car. I've got to have some mechanical sympathy. I, there's no way I could launch a car that is this new. However, we're still going to race those four cars. So I'm going to do a little switcheroo. I'm going to one of those and we'll get on with this video. What I want you to do in the comments, go, please bring the Ultima back. We'll see how many comments we get and hopefully the owner will bring it back for another time so we can do this full lineup in the future. Okay, make sure you comment because we will make it happen once this has over a thousand miles. To make sure you don't miss that video when it happens, please ensure that you're subscribed to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn in notifications on. That way you won't miss a single upload. Anyway, let's get on with this. Right, I've jumped into the Aventador S and we've taken the Ultima away and I'm a little bit disappointed. But hopefully this will do me proud and I'll get a good launch. And it's fine to launch this because it's got enough miles on the clock. Three! Whoa, what a launch! Oh, look at the way these things launch! SVJ who? Yes! I've got to go to you, Mark, first, because what happened to your launch? I was slow then, I'll be honest. I'm getting married the weekend. I think I'm already in honeymoon. <laughs> Unsurprising, Mr. Lamborghini won the Lamborghini Aventador drag race. Did you launch the best, Jan? I think so, mate. <laughs> I'm laughing at Mark, because it's not like Mark doesn't know how to drive his own car. The SVJ was definitely coming back, though. If he gets his launch down, it should play out like it should play out. Can we get a playback on the launch? I think I might have got the better launch than Yanni. And plus that, an invoice is going in for a chiropractor. This gear change is breaking my neck. OK, so that's Sam. It's our resident racing driver. I've pointed a little link to his Instagram account just in the description if you want to see what he looks like. Go follow him there. He's trying to get 6,000 followers. You can get him over six. Come on, do it. So, Mark, how much pressure do you feel like you're under right now? Honestly, I'm shaking. <laughs> oh, this is bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he got his launch that time. Um, Yanni, how are you feeling now? I'll be honest, I'm not going to make excuses, but that's why I had to hold off initially because there was something wrong with it. And when I pulled away, it didn't pull like it should. So there needs to be a third race. There always needs to be a third race. Let's do a third race. been so happy in all my life. <laughs> you won that. I'm telling you, you won that. <laughs> I'm happy for you. <laughs> oh well. So then what exactly happened? Well, the Aventador S, SV and SVJ all did the standing quarter mile in the same 10.8 seconds. However, the car wow line of truth reveals the S actually finished first, then the SVJ, followed closely by the SV. Last was the original Aventador, which took 11.2 seconds to do the standing quarter mile. Now we have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour, and the cars are in their most relaxed setting, which is Strada. They're in automatic mode for the gearbox. And I'm going to count it in. We're at 50. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Kick down. Oh, this is rubbish. Oh my god! What's going on there? Oh, the gear change is rubbish too. Ah! 
I did not expect that. This car took ages to kick down and then I totally lost. The normal Aventador just shot off like it was actually in second gear already. And then there's a battle between you two and it seems that the SV beat the SVJ. Mine's always really lazy at changing down. Every time we do this, Yes, let's let's take the gearbox out of the equation. We're going to do the same thing again, rolling race from 50 miles an hour. This time, though, the cars are in their sportiest setting, which is Corsa, and we're going to roll on in third gear. Three, two, one, go. Come on! No! Woo! There. Here we go, come on. That was more like it, Mark. Champion. I blame the driver, Matt. I blame the driver as well. I blame you, Mark. You, you, you're blamed. I'm literally always in trouble at home and even on car well. <laughs> Let's move on. OK, now we're going to have a brake test from 100 miles an hour. When we reach the line, full emergency stop. If you'd rather watch another Lamborghini drag race, click on the pop-out banner up there. Follow the link in the description below to do that. If not, stay here and see if Mark can actually stop his car properly. His car is the lightest, it should win. We're going to find out now. Here comes the line. Oh, did he win, Mark? That's me, surely. I don't know, I'm going to have to get out. Uh, oh, actually, it might be Sam. I'll, I'll invigilate seeing as I clearly lost. Okay, so the result is I took the longest to stop, then Yanni in the SV, then Sam in the normal Aventador. And Mark, you won that, you've won two. Brilliant, well done. You're the best. Do you know this time, is there a hoodie? Because last time I was promised a hoodie for one. I've won two now. I bet Yanni hasn't brought one. We'll give you a car wire hood instead. They're better quality. If you're interested in seeing a great deal on a sporty car, which is fast, not as quick as these, but it's a lot less expensive, click on the pop-out banner up there for the link in the description below to go check out what the car is and what the deal is on CarWow. I'd just like to say a big thanks to the guys who have bought these Aventadors down for us. What I'd like you to do is follow the links to their Instagram accounts or their YouTube channels and go follow them there because the more follows and comments and stuff that they get from you, the more likely they are to bring their cars back for us to race against the Automate once that is run in. And um, as ever, thanks for watching. Now, if you want some more videos, click on the video windows there or click on that box there to go to car one. You can see your car, just upload some photos, brief description, and our dealers from across the country will be on your car to make sure you get a great price for it. See you next time.